Chekhov was born in, a, in Russia in the most miserable village in Russia, poverty stricken, etc. Really cold and no, streets weren't paved and wild dogs ran through the streets and you could fall into a pothole and drown. And his father beat him every morning, practically. And his siblings were a mess. And then suddenly, they, two of the brothers ran off to Moscow. And then the father decided to follow them. And the rest of the family basically abandoned Anton Chekhov at the age of 18 or 16 in this miserable little town. And he had to fend for himself. And he, he started becoming really bitter, like, why, did I, why me? Why did I have this awful family, this horrible, abusive father, this mother who won't stand for her, up for herself, this drunken brother? Why me? And he got angry. And then he, he suddenly got sick of this story in his mind. And he goes, maybe I need to look at this totally differently. You know, I don't want to be like this the rest of my life. And so he decided that what he would do is he would try and understand his father instead of judging him. And he went through a process where my father was born a serf. We, we got freed later on, but he was basically a slave. His father beat him. He was never allowed to go into the kind of work that he wanted to. So no wonder he became an alcoholic who beat me. He can't help it. Instead of hating him, I'm going to love my father. I'm going to try and love him for this human being, for this fact of nature that can't help himself but is my father for who he is. And in that moment, he had a total epiphany and transformation that by getting rid of his negative emotions towards people, he was like free. He was liberated. And I've experienced this myself in my meditation. To go through just an hour or half an hour of freeing yourself from all your negative emotions about people, it's as, almost as if you're going to fly in the air. You feel so light and suddenly you've gotten rid of all of your burdens, all the things that are weighing you down. Accepting people and loving them for who they are is an incredibly liberating thing. Now, you can't do that for everyone. Some people are so toxic and ugly that you're never going to reach a point where you're going to love them. But you can understand them. And in understanding them, you don't have to internalize that the pain they inflict on you. This is, he changed his attitude towards people and towards life. And it changed everything that came to him later on. He became a successful doctor and later a great writer. The two the brothers had the same reality, the same world that they were looking at, the same family. One looked at it through this prism of empathy and love. The other looked at it through resentment and bitterness. The one person, Chekhov, got famous and successful and, and a fulfilled life. The others just descended into suicide and alcoholism. So your attitude is, will mean what you get in life, you know. You will sabotage yourself with your attitude. So if I got all bitter and railed against fate for making me who I am, for the stroke that ruined my life, that took away everything that I value, I can't travel, I can't drive, I would become a different person. I would become somebody who limited my scope of activity. But by accepting it, by saying, I'm not going to let this happen, I'm going to accept it, I widen my scope of activity. I do things that I normally wouldn't do if I became all angry and avoidant and anxious.